hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and this is frank einstein and for today's tutorial i am going to show you how to fix bad sectors hard disk errors and uh, flash drive errors most of the common problems kasi ng mga students namin ako korok yung mga files nila same also with my co-teachers that is why uh, natatakot silang ipagamit yung mga flash drives nila natatakot silang baka makorap yung mga flash drives nila yung mga hard disk nila especially yung mga laptop mga computers napapansin natin minsan uh, humihina, bumabagal uh, hindi ka anong nagre-response uh, this tutorial is actually intended to solve that particular problem. Ano nga ba ang cause ng mga ganitong klase ng problem? First is improper shutdown of computer. Okay? Improper shutdown means, uh, ba, suddenly biglang nagkaroon ng uh, brownout. Or biglang hinugot, nahugot sa saksakan, and then hindi siya na properly shut down. Uh, pwedeng mag-cause or mag-create ng bad sector ang mga hard hard drive, hard disk natin. Pagdating naman sa uh, mga flash drives uh, for, uh, for the information of everyone the term should be flash drive, hindi USB. Kasi merong dalawang klase ng USB. USB port and then USB flash drive. So, to be more specific, uh, the term should be flash drive or USB flash drive. Kasi yung USB port, uh, doon sinusuksok yung uh, mismong flash drive. So, para matanggal natin yung uh, confusion pagdating doon, yan, and explain lang natin ang content. Okay, so, uh, uh, yun nga, ang kadalasang problem pagdating sa mga computer pagdating sa hard drive sa flash drive naman kapag hindi natin safety remove uh, doon din nagkakaroon ng uh, mga error usually napapansin natin na kukurap yung mga files hindi natin ma-open etc so by the use of a very simple uh, utility from Microsoft, we can actually or instantly fix these errors. So, uh, without any further ado, uh, let us now start our video tutorial. Okay, as you can see guys, nandito na tayo sa harap ng ating work station. So, uh, okay. First is we need to determine kung anong drive ang kailangan nating i-repair or i-fix. So punta tayo dito. Okay, nandito ang aking uh, apat na drive. Nandito ang ating drive C kung saan nandiyan yung OS. Nandito ang drive D and drive E kasi naka-partition pa ako. And then uh, the last part here is my flash drive. So, ito po ang i-fix natin ngayon. Okay. So, first, go to uh, start menu and then type CMD. Okay. Type natin ang CMD. Okay. Or the command prompt. And then, right click. Run as administrator to give you administrative privilege to... Uh, run the CMD and then yeah okay we are now going to type this key C H K D S K space the letter drive of your flash drive which is letter E paano natin nalaman kung Letter E yung drive na yun. Okay, balik tayo doon sa ating My Computer 
and then obviously okay okay sorry sorry f okay drive f pala tayo sorry sorry okay drive f okay remove the letter e it should be drive f and then colon space slash usually f ang ginagawa nila para mabilis which stands for a uh, fix or pwedeng gumamit ng r which is repair ito ang mas recommended ko kasi uh, kapag fix or f lang yung in-execute natin uh, hindi niya totally na fix or na -re repair lahat ng uh, errors so dito tayo sa r para ito na yung pinaka ano niya uh, ma-maximize natin yung full potential ng check this utility okay so kapag nailagay na yan just hit enter and then makikita natin na ongoing na yung process so 5 6% 7 and counting hanggang sa until we reach 100% percent so hintayin lang natin guys ha okay okay so finally 100% na siya and as you can see guys makikita natin dyan kung meron bang bad sectors or kung ilan din ang total this space etc okay so obviously wala tayong na check na bad sectors sa ating flash drive Okay, so upon executing this method guys, makikita natin na mafi-fix yung mga files, mafi-fix yung mga errors sa ating uh, flash drive, sa ating hard drive, etc. Okay, so mabilisan lang yung naging uh, uh, process kanina kasi konti lang yung content nitong uh, ating flash drive. Kaka-reformat lang kasi. So the more na marami ang content, the more na mas tatagal yung procedure. Okay? So, uh, mapapansin natin na kapag na-execute natin yon mas madaling ma-access yung mga files at the same time, yung mga corrupt, corrupted files natin ma-fix. At pagdating naman dito sa Drive C, if uh, you are planning to... Uh, execute the uh, check this utility dito sa drive C okay uh, meron lang konting uh, pagbabago okay so paano ang magiging method non same procedure you are going to type the letter drive but i-indicate doon na uh, after ma-hit yung enter i-schedule ang inyong disk for utility check. Okay? So, kailan yon? Kapag na-restart nyo na yung PC ninyo. So, once na nag-restart ang PC ninyo and then may lumabas doon na uh, parang procedure same doon sa CMD, hintay nyo lang na mag-100% at kapag nag-restart na at bumalik na or nag-restart na yung computer ninyo okay, that's the time na tapos na yung uh, processing niya okay, uh, to those who are uh, hesitating na mag uh, run ng check this utility don't worry guys kasi walang madidelete na files or walang kahit anong mawawalang files dyan Okay, so maganda nga yun kasi parang uh, nag-undergo siya ng maintenance. Isa ito sa mga maintenance uh, ng Microsoft Office, ah sorry, ng uh, Microsoft para ma-maintain yung kanyang uh, magandang uh, uh, function. Okay, so kapag uh, na repair na yung drive C mapapansin niyo kung dating mabagal yung inyong computer ngayon uh, bibilis na siya makikita niyo 
yung pagbabago. Not necessary na gawin ito araw-araw. Pwede gawin natin ito every month. Or kung napapansin lang natin na medyo to bumabagal ng ating computer. Okay. So, sana uh, makatulong ito sa lahat. Sa mga students namin. Sa aking mga co-teachers. At sa iba pang mga teachers na nagkakaproblema pagdating sa flash drive errors at hard disk errors. Okay, so ayun nga guys. Uh, Na-execute natin ng maayos kanina yung uh, uh, check this utility ng uh, Microsoft. Kung mapapansin natin, or I mean, kung mapapansin ninyo, wala tayong di download or ginamit na specific application. Okay, isa yun sa magandang uh, feature ng uh, Microsoft. Meron siyang uh, isang klase ng utility na kayang mag-check at the same time mag-stabilize or mag-repair ng error. Okay, so next time's tutorial, sana mag-click ang video na ito kasi I'm planning to uh, Uh, create another tutorial na kung saan if ever na meron kayong flash drive or hard disk na na format or na delete ang file okay meron tayong certain application na gagamitin so we can retrieve your lost files say for example i-reformat natin si flash drive So, pag sinabi natin na reformat or na format or dinilit or na delete ang file, well, obviously, dead end na para sa atin. But no, kasi when it comes to technology, when it comes to cyberspace, the word delete doesn't mean deleted. So, please subscribe and uh, uh, wait for my upcoming Uh, or wait for my another video tutorial pagdating dyan sa pag-recover or pag-retrieve ng mga files. So, kahit anong klase ng files pwede natin ma-retrieve even na-delete siya or na-format or kung ano pa man dyan. For as long as gumagana pa yung flash drive, gumagana pa yung hard disk, 98% with money back guarantee marireretrieve natin yan so please guys subscribe to my uh, channel para makapagkandak pa tayo ng additional tutorials okay guys thank you